the I just wanted to share with you a really short Qigong sequence. Um, this is suitable for anybody. Um, it's really, really easy to do, and you can do it for as long as you like, or as short a time as you like in the morning, and lunchtime, the evening. It's a really lovely uh, slowing down of the body, the breath, um, and allowing us to get energy moving around the body as well. So it's great for healing. Um, as with all Qigong, it's super relaxing and it feels like a moving meditation. So if you struggle to meditate, to practice meditation, to still the mind, to quiet the mind, and even to manage your emotions, this is a really good thing to, to try and practice and uh, to incorporate into your daily routine. So I'll show you a really simple one. We take the feet shoulder width distance apart. So kind of wide, sort of kind of horse stance, but not too wide. Soften the knees a little bit. And on an inhale, lift through the crown of the head. Imagine the crown of the head is being drawn up towards the sky above. And on an exhale, visualize everything melting off the crown of the head and soften the knees a little bit. Feel the tailbone moving down towards the ground. Inhaling, crown of the head rises. And exhaling, everything melts. All the stress melts off your body. You start to feel more grounded in your feet. We'll start by swinging the arms, which just loosens the arms up a little bit. In Tai Chi and Qigong, we want our arms to be really soft, the movement to be fluid, the joints to be open so the energy can move. And so try to let go of any stiffness in the shoulder joint, and the elbows, the wrists and the finger joints as you swing. And you can kind of allow the elbows to bend. You kind of want your arms to be all dangly um, and pendulous. Love the word pendulous. After a few of these, it feels like your arms are relaxed a little bit. It feels like you're letting go of the day's stress. You start to slow down and then bring your hands into a ball shape. So the right hand's on top of the left hand. Visualize now that you're holding a ball. This is called moving clouds. So we want to replicate the softness, the pillowiness, the uh, poofiness of a cloud <laughs> um, by relaxing. And imagine that we hold something very delicate. Imagine that it could evaporate any minute, really soft. Now, bend the knees a little bit, keep this little knee bend, and then take a breath in to let the arms go to the right, maybe shift the weight into the right foot. And then as you change sides, the left hand comes on top as you go to the left. So the top hand is in line with the shoulders, or the chest. And the bottom hand is kind of in line with the belly, the belly button space. Now imagine manipulating this ball of energy like a cloud, you're coaxing it from side to side. It feels like you want to take your feet a little wider, just adjust your feet to any width that feels comfortable. And so you feel able to kind of bend into the knees a little bit. Qigong is not only relaxing, but it's also good for strengthening the legs. Keep a little bit of a knee bend the whole time. The legs will become stronger. The joints will become stronger. Now start to slow down and you can look at the hands as they move. This allows us to focus a little bit more easily. And the slowing down is absolutely key. We find that our day-to-day -day promotes us to be a little bit um, in fight or flight mode all the time. So we tend to be always wondering what's coming next, looking to what's next, looking to the future. Indeed, stuck in the past, dwelling on things. But this exercise, imagine, is helping us to be really present. Allow the hands to feel soft. And as you bring your awareness to your hands, notice if you can feel the nerve endings tingling a little bit. I like to remind myself that these exercises, if you're really mindfully focused on your body, will start to bring extra blood flow to places like the hands just by thinking about them. So wherever your mind is going, the energy is flowing, the blood flow is moving to that space. Breath is calm and slow. Maybe take a breath one direction. Exhaling the other direction, letting the arms feel soft. Let's try four more. Remember, you can do this for as long as you like. Cultivate soft fluidity. 
what I love so much about the practice of Qigong is the fluid movement, the softness, the subtlety. Come back to the right side now and slide the left foot in a little bit. Step the right foot forward as if you're kind of doing a warrior one in yoga, but just a little one, just kind of like a lunge. Now take a breath in, pull the fingertips back, the elbows back, and then as you exhale, press as if to push a wave out from the shore. As you inhale, rock the weight back into the left leg and imagine dragging the wave back in with the fingertips and then exhaling, pushing. This pushing waves, as it's aptly named, helping us to cultivate fluid movement, channeling the element of water, which helps us to feel fluid, adaptable, relaxed, able to move with the ebb and flow, yin and yang of everything. And this can feel challenging sometimes. We often feel that we tune in too much to battling with things, to working against the flow of things. And in Tai Chi and in Taoist philosophy and Qigong, we're looking to find that effortless effort or Wu Wei. So cultivating an ability to move with the flow of things instead of against. Next breath in, draw the right foot in. Step the left foot forward. Exhale, push forward. Keep the back up straight. Now breathing in, drag the fingertips in. If you practice yoga, I found this a particularly nice time to combine these two philosophies find Ujjayi breathing. As you inhale, slow fluid stream. On the exhale, find the wave-like sound of Ujjayi, which sounds a bit like a wave rolling out the shore. You can achieve this by closing up the back of the throat, creating kind of Imagine you're tuning into nature. Power, but also the calmness of the sea, of the waves, of the wind, of the elements. And Taoism is all about tuning into nature, which is why I love it as a philosophy so much. It's kind of simple to focus on. The nature of everything. Let's try two more on this side, a little slower. Try to visualize, use visualizations to relax you. Focus on manipulating a wave. Imagine the wave is calm. Soft hands. And then dragging in the left foot as you breathe in. Feet again, shoulder width distance, and then let the hands settle on the lower dantian. Just imagine all the energy that you've just cultivated there, you're storing inside. Straighten the legs, relax the shoulders. Hope you've enjoyed this little mini sequence. Practice it whenever, just the first part or both, the second part on its own. Um, and give me your feedback. Don't forget my website has got hour long videos, yoga and Qigong combined together. Um, so check out the website just below here. And don't forget to like and comment and subscribe for more videos like this. Have a lovely rest of the day. And thank you so much for tuning in.